time to start harvesting the winter squash. The uh, kusha vines have started dying, and there's a lot of squash on here. So it's a two-step process. First we have to cut the squash off the vines and then let them cure for a couple weeks. And then we'll pick them up and take them in for uh, winter storage. Uh, I counted 17 of these giant kusha squash in here. So we're going to be busy uh, harvesting them. We also have out on the outside edge, which I'll uh, see if I can get over there and get a picture of, we have some banana squash, which are equally large. These uh, kusha weigh about 20 pounds each. And this banana squash, of which there's three of them in here, weigh between 20 and 30 pounds. This was the longest one that we have laying here. Uh, there's another one up front that is a uh, shorter and uh, fatter, and it's probably uh, 25 pounds or so. See if we can get to that one up here. There's the other banana squash. That one's probably a good 30 pounds. But the uh, biggest harvest is going to be all these kushas that we have laying in here. So I'll uh, stop the video and I'll get busy cutting these off and getting ready to harvest them. Last time we were out working on the kushas, we got rained out, so we had to finish up today. Uh, we came out and harvested all of them and have them all ready to put in storage. There's 17 kushas total here. The uh, biggest one probably weighs close to 25 pounds. After we get them cured and uh, get ready to put them in storage, I'll take them in on the scales and weigh some of them and see how big they are. But uh, some of them, as you can see here in front, are... Uh, pretty good size. We did not uh, have any really small ones. The smallest one is probably 10 pounds. So we have a lot of kusha and we're not yet sure what we're going to do with them all. Meanwhile, the uh, banana squash we have not harvested yet because the vines are still green and they're still producing uh, some squash. So we're going to let them go until we get closer to frost and uh, see what we have. And uh, as I showed the other day, we have a very large one here. It's over a yard long and it probably weighs a good 30 pounds. And there's another one underneath of there. I don't know if it's visible or not. And then there's a big one up on the front. And the vine is taking off and going up over my raised bed. And it has on the very top of that vine, it has another squash forming, which I'm sure won't get to uh, complete before frost kills it. So, uh, we're now in the mode of waiting and uh, getting them ready to put in the storage. I'm going to uh, go get the little trailer and load them up and put them in the, the uh, garage uh, where the varmints won't get to them and uh, let them cure. So I'll be back in uh, probably a few minutes to look at the rest of it. The squash are all loaded in the little trailer. And they're ready to go into the garage for curing, and they'll set in there for a couple weeks, and then we'll be ready to put them in the winter storage. I have to uh, separate these a little bit when I put them in because they shouldn't be touching each other uh, for curing. They should have airspace all the way around them, and it's also important when they're stored that they have airspace, uh, such as laying on a wire rack. So that'll be the next process in about two weeks, but the uh, harvest of the 2021 Kusha squash is completed. We have 17 of them. Uh, most of them weigh in the uh, 15 to 25 pound range. So it's a lot of, a lot of food right there in that wagon. And that's it for this year's harvest. And thanks for watching.